Hey guys, first off, before I do anything else, I'm going to apologize for the light because it's really, really bright right now. But if, if I close the light, then it's super dark. And if I go over there, it's kind of messy because of my kids. So like, I have to stand right here. Anyway, uh, today I just want to talk to you about a, a big question that I had when I first started. And I know that other people have dealt with this too because I actually see it quite up by like just on other people, you know, post on other people's content or I've seen a lot of articles and stuff for Basically the question is, is it okay to copy someone else's artistic style? All right. And my short answer would be yes, but only when you're learning. Okay. And I think that this is also a very common answer. And I actually dealt with this up until recently. It wasn't until I actually kind of agreed with this conclusion. So as many of you know, I started off with the Pollock style. And actually, let me show you that one. That one right there is a kind of an example. But I have other ones. In fact, uh, let, me, let me actually grab one that was kind of more recent. Okay. Um, so this is actually an example of like my the Pollock style, right? So, you know, obviously it's gloss enamel, it's thrown, um, and you can see a lot of my paintings. Anyway, um, I really, okay, so I like the Pollock stuff. I really enjoy making them. But the problem is that I recently realized, because I had read this, but it didn't, you know, sometimes you see something, but you don't believe it until it happens, right? Until it clicks. And it, it recently clicked for me that, Although I started on the Pollock style and I enjoy it and that and that's the style that I first sold overseas um, Which was like my first international sale is a huge deal for me um, It didn't dawn on me that the thing that I was creating these Pollock style paintings <clears throat> Wasn't me, you know what I mean? Like if I was creating them um, And obviously he can't make them anymore because he's dead um and it, you know, people recognize that style. Okay, so let me put it this way. When I make a, a Pollock style painting, people intrinsically know what I was trying to do. A lot of people know who Pollock is, or they've seen the work, so when they see mine, they're like, oh yeah, I've seen stuff like that. But they, they don't know who he is, but they've seen it, right? They recognize it, that's the important part. That's good because if people value that type of painting, then it makes it easier for me to sell them mine. The problem lies in that I had started with the style because it got me into painting, but then I kept doing it from time to time and I wasn't following, you know, a specific path. Now it's, it's okay to start somewhere and to learn, right? I posted this, I put this in another video um, about how it's okay to learn something, but if you don't develop your own distinct style, then it's hard for people to recognize the work is yours. Does that make sense? So while people look at a painting like that and they're like, oh yeah, that's that's like Pollock. At first I, I used to enjoy hearing that. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. I'm gonna be like Pollock. But now when I hear that and I think that, it, it makes me think, oh, okay, well, that's great that they recognize that as the Pollock style painting and, and Pollock, but, uh, but they don't equate it with me. You know what I mean? Now, if you have a style that's like that, it's going to happen. You know, I believe that there's nothing quite, there's nothing unique in the world. There's just kind of reiterations of the same things, right? Well, it's okay if that's your style, right? But I was doing it because it was like Pollock and it got me a lot of attention and a lot of people um, liked it and I was able to, you know, I have videos on how to make these paintings and people love it. I was like, oh, that must be what I should do. I should just keep following them. But over time, I realized that that's not me. That's Pollock. So is it okay to copy it? Yes. When you're learning. But I had to realize that okay, this isn't me. I'm not doing it because I want that to be my style. I'm doing it because he did that and now I'm doing it too because that's how I got started. I kind of had to evolve to this place where after doing a bunch of experimenting with different materials and um, styles, I realized that like, okay, that's not me. That's not my style. 
And it took a while for me to realize this, about a year actually into it. And I realized, you know, I tried a bunch of things and I kind of liked some of the other things, but I just kept going back to that because it was comfortable because it's what got me started, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, so what I would say is that, yeah, it's okay to, to, to copy another style if you're learning to kind of get the idea of how to use a material or how to do certain brush strokes or, or a technique or something like that. It's good to learn. But if you're copying it because that's what someone else is doing and you're trying to pass it off as your own, then it's not you. I mean, you can do it and it's yours and you made it and that's a unique piece that only I made, but people are gonna recognize it for Pollock, not for me. I mean, let's be honest. So. Um, ultimately, my point would be that, yeah, it's okay to copy a style to learn. Absolutely. And you, I would, I would go so far as to say to try a dozen styles to kind of learn different techniques and to kind of get acquainted with materials um, or to, you know, to learn kind of the ins and outs of what you're trying to do. I mean, a lot of even writers, there's writers out there that would rewrite books of famous writers to get the idea to, to get the to build the muscles per se like the mind muscles or the physical muscles like the repetition or the thinking process of how to do that thing and that's great that's okay I mean that's a great place to start why not follow someone who's already successful I mean and kind of go through what they do but you can't just copy what they do and pass it off as your own. I've I've actually done that with some of my paintings like in trying to copy a particular style or artist and it's not that i obviously created a copy of their work so it's my own and i can sell it because it's a unique piece but i was doing it for the wrong reasons i didn't do it because like my style is that i did it because i was copying them and it was easier for me to copy someone than to develop my my own or to master it and now i've kind of i finally like understand my own technique and my own style and yeah, you can have different styles, but my, my overall point is, yeah, it's okay to copy to learn, but I would challenge you not to get stuck in the mindset of only following a style because someone else did it or copying particular works and trying to pass them off as your own. It's great to learn, but it's not great to just follow it because someone else is already doing it and it's easier, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's my argument. What do you think? Like, do you think it's okay to copy artistic styles or do you think that you have to come out with something original? Do you, uh, well, hell, do you even think that there is a such thing as unique as in nobody else in the world has done it or is doing it or will do it? Because I don't believe so. I believe everything is a reiteration of something else. But what do you think? I'm curious. Just please leave a comment in the comment section below or on my website and I will get to you back on there as well. Um, and if you haven't checked out my other videos or subscribe, please do that. And I've got other links that you can definitely check out when you get a chance. Um, but I really enjoyed talking with you today. Please let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.